Today's protagonist, Elder Manuel Marquez Postiga, has never feared taking the plunge in the search for new experiences. One of football's genuine globetrotters, he burst onto the scene as a youngster at Porto and, aged just 21, left Portugal to try his luck in England. After struggling to convince, he returned to Portugal, but then the chance came to test the waters in La Liga and Elder didn't think twice. When I signed for Zaragoza, I was in Portugal and I was looking for a change of direction. My spell at Zaragoza was really nice. Everyone treated me so well, both the fans and the club. I had two good years there. I had good times. I've always enjoyed playing in La Liga. Away from football, life in Spain is similar to Portugal. And my family and I had a great time. I've only got good memories. His first goal for Real Zaragoza took six games to come, but the wait was worth it, as he kicked off with a brace, the first of which would be one of the best goals of his whole career. Chilena! No! Lazo! No lazo! No lazo de Elder Postiga! Creo que fue contra I think it was against Real Sociedad. It was an overhead kick. One of the best goals I've ever scored. It was one of my best and the first with Zaragoza. The assist was from Efrain Juarez, the Mexican, a great cross, but not as good as the goal itself. From then on, he didn't stop scoring. Posti Gol, as he became known in the Romareda, scored 23 goals in his two seasons at Zaragoza. But even so, it wasn't enough to save the Manos from relegation. But his good form hadn't gone unnoticed, and the following season he was signed by Valencia. At Valencia, I started well but that was where I began suffering from my back problems. Those two years, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I was playing through the pain. Things weren't working out for me. I should have stopped for a while. Valencia is a very special club. They can achieve great things. Let's hope they keep improving. They've started poorly this season, but they've got what it takes to finish well. After a brief spell in Italy, he returned to La Liga to play for Deportivo. But injuries continued to plague him, and A Coruña didn't get to see the impressive elder of just a few seasons earlier. My experience of Depor was similar to that at Valencia. Things started well, but then I got injured again. The good thing that came from that was that I decided to leave the problem behind once and for all, and finally got the operation I needed done. At Depor, they welcomed me really well, the fans and the club itself, so I've only got good things to say about them. At the end of his one campaign at Galicia, he flew to Asia, where he'd play for Atletico de Kolkata, part of the Atletico Madrid franchise in the Indian Super League, with Jose Francisco Molina as coach and alongside Spanish players like Borja Fernández or Javi Lara. I always loved playing in Spain. I believe that La Liga is the best in the world. 
Like I said, I spent many great years in Spain, and now I'm enjoying a new experience. Postiga made 71 appearances with Portugal scoring 27 goals. But in the recent Euro 2016, he was just another fan. It was an emotional moment for him when the player he considers to be the best in La Liga, Cristiano Ronaldo, lifted the trophy. Like all Portuguese people at the beginning, I didn't give us much of a chance. But little by little, we did it. I think we played seriously, and at the end, when we won, it was just amazing for the whole country. It's hard to choose just one player from La Liga because the two best players in the world are here, Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. But I'm Portuguese, so I'll stick with Cristiano. Different coloured shirts, but always the same commitment and dedication. Elder Postiga has enjoyed a career in which, despite the injuries, one thing has never been missing, the glory of the goal.